My name is Sami Zamedkun. I'm a student here at Galvanize in the data science program. I just completed my capstone project, which was a general question answering system. I built a model that takes in facts followed by a question and the model understands the facts and then gives the answer to the question based on that, uh, those facts. Uh, for example, John is in the hallway, John moved to the bedroom, Mary got the milk. Uh, these are three sentence facts and the question could be, where is John? And the answer would be, uh, John is in the bedroom. So the bedroom would be the answer. And the computer understands uh, and learns the facts uh, from the facts uh, it's fed. And it remembers uh, where John went at the end and uh, predicts the answer based on that. I got, I got the data from uh, Facebook. That's how I trained my model. The data was already prepared in uh, the right format. Uh, it was uh, uh, machine generated data. So the data had a list of facts followed by a question and an answer and so on. And 108,000 uh, samples like that. And some of the facts could be as long as 260 lines long. And even for a human being, it could be difficult to keep track of all the facts. The model also has hard time remembering all the facts when the sentence length uh, goes really long. <clears throat> but uh, with, I used another library that also tells me, narrows down the number of sentences to just uh, the relevant facts. And when I, uh, when I did that, uh, the model performed uh, better. And I, I do have a, a website up and running and you, you can see a test uh, for yourself by going to the website, it's uh, www.qnda, as one word, uh, project.com. Uh, there's so many applications uh, I can think of. Um, not exactly the project, but a more advanced version of it, like a more optimized, like a more uh, complicated, ver complex version of it, uh, could be used for, for example, in tech support. Uh, a user would log in a computer and uh, asks the computer, uh, I'm having an issue in this one, uh, what do I do? And if the computer understands the question and like if the computer understands where to look for uh, the right answer, it would automatically respond with the right answer and uh, without any human interaction, uh, you could do customer support. Um, I'm a dissertation away from a PhD in physics at CU Boulder. About two years ago, uh, I attended a panel discussion uh, by one of the graduates from CU Boulder who works at uh, Twitter. Uh, he's a data scientist at Twitter, Josh. And uh, he talked about his experience transitioning from physics to data science. I found it uh, interesting. I wanted to try it. I, thought it was more aligned with my interest and for, for my career. And then I started taking online courses, uh, free online courses on Coursera and stuff like that, uh, machine learning. I learned about Galvanize uh, coming to uh, Denver uh, to give this program. And I thought it was a good opportunity. So I took, I took on, I applied, I got in and that's how I started.